What's up guys, my name is Michael and as you might have seen today Capture One 12 has been released. Now I have been using Capture One 12 for two or three weeks and um, I can tell you a little bit about the changes and maybe help you decide if it's really worth upgrading or not. Now the first thing you will see when you start Capture One 12 is that the fonts have gotten a little bigger and the icons have been made a little cleaner. So everything is nicer and um, yeah, neat. It looks really nice. But honestly, a new interface is not something that would make you spend a lot of money. So the main thing that changed in my opinion at least for Fuji users, is the film simulations. Now we do get the film simulations for our Fuji RAW files and um, we can integrate them in our workflow, which is really nice. And um, I have compared them with the in-camera JPEGs and they look exactly the same. So that's a great thing. Another thing is that some of the tools have been improved as well. So for example, there is a new masking um, tool that will help you mask um, by the brightness of the image. And that's called Luma masking. So you can select parts of the image on their brightness and create a mask with this. So that helps you um, getting faster when you need to edit only certain parts of your image. Also the linear gradient tool has been reworked so you can edit a gradient without having to redraw it and you can adjust the gradient asymmetrically. So that's nice as well and we get a new selection tool for our masks and that's a radial selection. So you can now make round or oval selections. I have also noticed a little improvement in speed as well. Not that I would say that Capture One 11 was slow, but it is a little quicker now. So the main thing must be the uh, film simulations and the new user interface as well. But um, there is something else and that's the plug-in support. So uh, Capture One 12 now supports uh, plugins. Actually, currently there are no plugins available, but I'm really excited to see what kind of plugins will be coming in the next few weeks and months. And that might change the way uh, um, at least I work with this piece of software quite a bit. We'll see, maybe there will be a Luminar plugin Maybe, maybe. Yeah, um, not new in version 12, but added pretty recently is that we can shoot tethered with uh, Fuji cameras. Not all of them, but for example, the X-H1 shoots tethered in Capture One 11 and 12. And um, Capture One also supports the Fuji GFX cameras. That's not something that's new in version 12, but it has been added recently, so if you haven't checked for a while, maybe you haven't heard of that as well. So these are the main things that have changed. Um, there are some minor things and I might do a more detailed video about all the changes um, in the next few days, but uh, the Capture One website will show you pretty detailed about all the things that have changed. And as I told you, the main thing in my opinion are the Fuji film simulations and the new user interface. And um, don't be afraid, you will find what you search for, but I mean, it, it looks much nicer. That's the things that have changed. Some other small things, but yeah. Read the release notes, that's why they are there. Uh, download the trial, look for yourself, see if that's something that's worth upgrading for you. Use my uh, promo code, you will get 10% discount with the code AMBPC, um, which will maybe help you decide if you wanna upgrade or not a little more easily. 
Let me hear in the comments what you think about this uh, new version and let me know if you will upgrade or if you will stay with the current version that you have. Maybe it's 10 or 11, I don't know. Let me know what kind of version do you run and do you want to upgrade. Thanks guys for watching, keep shooting and have a good day.